Dean Jeff Hoover filling in around town. Hey, Jeff. Hey, this is pretty exciting. I would like to say this is even a WGN Morning News exclusive. We have Herman Munster, AKA Jeff Daniel Phillips, or should it be the other way around? Well, let me tell you, Jeff, I, uh, I had an epiphany. Epiphany? Yes, and I-, I You should I see thinking, a doctor. <laughs> I woke up this morning, I thought, WGN, that was my first acting studies. Did you know that? How, how's I, that? I, I, my, one of my first experiences on a set was with Bozo. And I saw this guy in makeup, making kids, adults laugh. And I thought, how do I get a gig like this? And then I started, kids were outside playing in the streets and I was studying the reruns. So even to this day, I, I, I say, do you want a little more Barney Fife or a little more Roger Healy? And, and, <laughs> and not many people know what I'm talking about. Except I, for I Rob do. Zombie. And Rob Zombie knows that because he knows TV. And that's why he did the Munsters. Now, uh, there's something interesting I learned off air. This is not like a sequel to the Munsters television show. This is actually a... An origin story. So this is like before Eddie Munster came, because was, they're falling in love, right? You could say that, but I'm not going to give you all the details. All I'll say is, uh, yes, it's a love story to the show. It's a love story to Lily and Herman. And it's a love story to the people out there that need more monsters because we've had enough of this. And, and I understand you give a little bit of that, you know, you carry through on the Fred Gwynn We definitely pay homage to Fred and all the original cast members. We love the show and that's why we did this. Can you give us a little taste of the Herman Munster uh, well, laugh? I know, I'm gonna actually say that. And uh, you should have asked my agent before. Well, maybe if you come out to Flashback Weekend here in uh, Rosemont, you'll be able to get that, right? That's right. But it's time to play oh. True or False with Jeff Daniel Phillips. Here we go real quick. We got three questions. I found this stuff on the internet that may or may not be true. You were born in Chicago and went to school at Maine East High School. True. You pretty much just... No, it's Maine West. That's oh, where you got it darn. wrong. All right. Yeah. There, that's the first false I've had in a long time ago. You're talking about Harrison Ford. He went to Maine East. Oh, see, there's a fun <laughs> fact. All right, number two, don't cheat. You were one of the first, you wait, your first gig really was the Geico Caveman commercials. N no. Well, this fall, well no, wait, this, you were the guy I was the guy cocaine man, but I sneakers was one of my first gigs. Oh, with Robert Redford yeah. and Sidney Poitier. Yep. See, I remember. Oh. But you do you were the cake. I was a caveman for a decade, yes I was. And that oh. actually became a TV show on ABC. And I was on that too, as in billboards and, and flying over yes. houses and everything. Okay, last question because they're wrapping me. What? You've been in 18 Rob Zombie movies. True or false? That's false. I've been in five. But the Munsters on Netflix, September 27th, <laughs> Blu-ray. You can get it, pre-order it. Thanks for being here, and you can see Jeff all this weekend here at the 20th anniversary. Flashback weekend in Rosemont. Thank you. We'll, we'll be back. More around town coming up.